Number one AFC seed, Baltimore Ravens hosting the Houston Texans. Ravens beat the Texans 34 to 10. Prime example, prime situation, inexperienced quarterback on the road, tough, hostile environment. I don't want to say unprepared because I I wouldn't call CJ Stroud an unprepared quarterback. I think the term unprepared falls on the entire team. And that's, again, no disrespect to D'Amico Ryans, no disrespect to anybody on the coaching staff of the Houston Texans, because unprepared also potentially falls into the category of overmatched. And what I mean by that is it was very apparent very early on the Baltimore Ravens on defense were going to bring different complex blitz packages and looks for the Texans to deal with on offense because they knew CJ Stroud in the pocket with a little bit of time to examine the field and even having some receivers covered up down the field comfortable pocket for CJ Stroud he's going to make things happen he's going to find guys down the field he has that ability at the quarterback position to put balls in catchable spaces he has some offensive weapons down the field the Texans run pretty complicated route schemes a lot of times takes a little bit of time to develop Take some time for those guys to get down the field. So the Ravens, the Ravens knew all this and it's not just CJ Stroud. It's typically the case for most quarterbacks in the NFL. And that is if you put guys in front of them, you bring pressure, complicated blitz packages. You show a blitz from the left side. You show two guys on the line of scrimmage and then they come from the right. Confuses the offensive line, confuses the running backs, confuses whoever's in charge to pick up those extra attackers, those extra pass rushers. So it was confusing for the tech. And in all honesty, they scored 10 points in this game. Their only touchdown came on a putt return. The Houston Texans really didn't have much going for them offensively for most of the game. And on the flip side, you know, Baltimore, seven points in the second quarter, three points in the first quarter, 10 points in the first half. They're tied at 10 with the Texans going into half. Everyone's thinking, oh my gosh, like the Texans are hanging in. The Texans could potentially win this game. Baltimore, what are you doing? You're choking. You're the one seed. You're at home. Classic case of Baltimore didn't play for two weeks. That's the only reason that game was tied 10-10 at half. That's the only reason. If you didn't watch the game, 10-10, you think, wow, evenly matched, tie game, halftime. Texans are hanging tough. Ravens can't get anything going. Not entirely the case. The score didn't tell the story of the first half. And all it took for the Baltimore Ravens was two quarters to knock the dust off after not playing for two weeks, and they turned it on. Not to mention, by the way, Houston Texans apparently did not know that Lamar Jackson can run. Because how about 11 carries for 100 yards and two rushing touchdowns for Lamar Jackson? I don't know if the Texans didn't think he was going to run or they didn't expect him to run, but playing man coverage, deep route concepts down the field with nobody spying Lamar Jackson rushing for it's over with at that point. It's done. Lamar Jackson's going to literally turn into a track meet in an NFL game. Four combined touchdowns for Lamar Jackson against the Texans. Lamar Jackson is an incredible quarterback. He's a great athlete, not taking anything away from him, but it was a classic example. The Texans and Ravens can be summarized. Classic example. Young, inexperienced quarterback, inexperienced head coach, inexperienced play callers. Game plan was not in place to allow for success from the Houston Texans side. And on the other side, Ravens had some rust. Two weeks went by where they didn't play a football game. And now you go into the half 10-10 thinking, oh my gosh, the Ravens are going to choke. The Texans are right in this game. Absolutely not the case. Score did not tell the story. Two different halves, two completely different games. First half, second half. Texans came back out and they were doing the exact same thing they were doing in the first half. Ravens just stepped up the pressure a little bit. Zero points from Houston, third and fourth quarter. Ravens go down, score 24 points in the second half. That's because Lamar Jackson knocked the dust off. Ravens offensive line knocked a little bit of the dust off and they got right back into the rhythm that they've been in for most of the season, which is Lamar runs, Lamar finds guys open down the field. Offensive play calling is excellent, utilizing all the skills at Lamar's disposal. Protection's really good on the offensive line, and the defense doesn't give up any points. And second half score was 24 to 0. Ravens dominate the Texans. That was a pure domination, the definition of it. And that's exactly how it should go for a team like the Ravens against a team like the Great season for CJ Stroud. Great season for the Houston Texans. Exceeded all expectations. Anything anybody thought, including myself, about the Houston Texans. 500 was a pipe dream for the Houston Texans. Eight and nine, hard to get to based on what we had seen from that 
franchise and that organization with a rookie quarterback and a first year head coach. Eight and nine was like, that's a eight and nine's a monster season for that team. Huge. And they won the AFC South. I mean, talk about, first of all, ultimate choke job from the, the Jacksonville Jaguars. Colts, in my opinion, did not have any business even flirting with the postseason at, at, at certain points this season. Yeah, it came down to the final game. And yes, the Texans beat them. It's not the, the Colts didn't scare me. And then the other team in the AFC South, who, Titans were a joke, right? I mean, they they were starting uh, Ryan Tannehill for a bunch of games, like obviously. So the point is, Texans had a great year, exceeded expectations. Absolutely nothing to hang your head on if you're CJ Stroud, if you're D'Amico Ryan's for the entire organization. I mean, it's only up from there. Now, there may be, there, they may run into some issues with those expectations moving forward because now the expectation for CJ Stroud, for D'Amico Ryans, for that entire organization in the coming years is like, well, okay, next season, everyone picking the division winners, it's going to be the Texans. They're going to pick the Texans to win AFC South. That's not like a bad thing. It's just the fact that maybe the exceeding of the expectations this year may have set up for some more pressure, I guess. And I think CJ Stroud can handle it. I think D'Amico Ryans can handle it. I don't think they're the type of guys that are just going to crumble under expectations like the Jacksonville Jaguars did this year with Trevor Lawrence, with all the other guys they had at their disposal. Stroud is too good. It's too dependable. If he can stay healthy and on the field, knock on wood, I, I see the Texans coming right back next year, going 10 and seven, potentially better, winning that division and finding themselves in the playoffs again. But it's going to take a little bit more experience postseason experience right the houston texans i mean they come out of this with a playoff victory which is awesome they played a home playoff game they got a victory you just ran into a juggernaut the baltimore ravens are an absolute juggernaut lamar jackson is he's unstoppable i mean he's he's playing at the highest of high levels and it's no disrespect to the texans it's just what it was and what it is they did hang tough for a half uh, but now they know next year when they come across a team like the ravens they're gonna have to prepare their scheme offensively a lot different relying too much on cj stroud to sit back in the pocket and try to make throws and make plays in the meantime he's got three to four dudes in his face every time he drops back so let's change up the scheme a little bit ravens on the other hand keep doing what you're doing the ravens beat the texans take them down 34 10 hosting the afc championship next week love that Lamar, love that for the Ravens. Lamar Jackson is a great quarterback, deserves to have success in the NFL. I like the way he plays the game. I like the way John Harbaugh coaches the game. I like the way the Ravens play defense. I like that organization. It's a good team, deserves success. Lamar has worked his tail off, and now he's got to play Mahomes next week. So we'll see what happens.